Hey, let's talk about cutting openings for pickups. You know, when you're building a cigar box guitar, you're converting a cigar box into a guitar, there's a couple of things you have to do, and one of them is usually cut some type of opening for a neck. In a previous video, I've discussed my techniques on how I cut these openings, hearing a lot of good feedback from some guys on how that's really being helpful. Well, you also, oftentimes, when you're building a cigar box guitar, you've got to cut an opening for a pickup. Uh, sometimes you don't use pickups, but sometimes you do. When you use a pickup, you need to have an opening. And that's kind of unusually an odd shape. And so it requires a little bit of skill, planning, and preparation to make sure you're going to get that opening right so that it looks good when you're installing the pickups and finishing your guitar. In a previous video, I've demonstrated a product that we have that helps you cut an opening. And that's our 24301 router template and it's a router template in that you have to have a router and a router bit and this has a shoulder on it and it actually follows these openings and cuts the opening into the box if you look at this box i think this is one that i actually used when i did that video so you can see the opening there what's really nice about this using the router you get a really really clean cut and that allows you to stick the pickup in there and you can even get by without a, a trim ring if that's what you want. Looks really nice, nice and professional. But a lot of guys don't want to use a router. They don't have one. They don't want to go down that path. Uh, they still want to cut them manually. So we have a new product that we're uh, just come out with that we're sharing, and it's our 24306. And what it is is actually a template. There's actually two of them. Uh, it's a two-part uh, product. Uh, and on this template, we have all of the pickups, just like the one with the router, all of the pickups that are in the MGB line. We have the $5, the 750 Tully strap. Uh, we have the box bucker, and we even have the hot tuna in here. So we have all of the shapes that you need uh, to cut holes in your box or to mark them and cut holes in your box when you're using some of the MGB pickups. So one of the things I want to do is uh, kind of give you a quick demonstration of how that works. Uh, talk to you about how I do that. This is again the box that I've used. You've seen it in prior videos where we cut the opening for the neck. Now I'm going to cut an opening uh, for the pickup. And what I've done is I've selected a uh, one of our uh, hot rail pickups. I'm going to cut an opening for a hot rail pickup and I even have a trim ring. So let's get started and I'll show you how, to do, how I do that. First, as always, I have a, a tape going down the center. I use my centering rule and I have a center line going exactly down the center. This box is really nice in that it's exactly six inches uh, wide. Uh, so at three inches, I have a mark going all the way down. What I've decided is that I want to locate the pickup up close to the neck. So what I've done is I put a piece of tape here or kind of cross. The tape happens to be wide enough uh, for me to, uh, to, to mark that template. So then what we do is we get the template. And again, uh, this is based upon the tele, or the strat size, or ST. And so you would look at the pickup and you would find the one that says ST and you would line it up on here. And again, on this template, much like the other template, there are some centering holes here and down here. With my center line, I line the temp template right up in the center of the tape. And then I'm going to take a pencil going to take a pencil and I'm actually going to mark that nice solid dark line is I'm going to I'm going to mark that so I know exactly where I've got to cut that opening now what I did was I have found a, a bit and it just so happens that a 5 8 inch drill bit is about the right size for these strap pickups so what I want to do is I want to open the box. I need to pull the tape off a little bit here. I want to open the box, lay it down, and I'm going to put a backer behind here, a nice solid piece of oak backing on here. So I drill through. It won't break through. It'll drill all the way through. Now with the 5 8 bit, what I've got to do is kind of line it up down here on the end, kind of get it in the center. Looks pretty good. Go 
on there. Come up here, kind of position it. If you want to, you can spend some time doing some marking lines to actually get the center, but because I'm gonna use a trim ring, I don't have to be exactly precise. If I wanted to, I would use the router uh, template. So now, I've drilled the two holes on the end. What I like to do, and I've demonstrated this in other videos, uh, usually a chisel is usually good enough to get through. So I'm gonna take the chisel, I'm gonna mark, go down the lines that I marked. Kind of a little bit rough, but it will work. I haven't got quite through, I'm gonna go a little bit more. And it did a pretty good job of cutting through. I see one area that I'm sticking out a little bit that I want to trim off. What I decided was, again, I was going to use our hot rail pickup. So I can see that it fits pretty nicely. Because it's not as fine a cut as you would have with the router, what I'm gonna use on this is I'm gonna use a trim ring. So you can see I've got the trim ring mounted on there and it works out really well. Once you have the trim ring on there, then you can come and drill the holes. There's two holes for mounting the trim ring. Then there's two holes for mounting the pickup to the trim ring. So you can drill those and get those done. It turns out really well. Uh, it's fast, economical, easy to do. Uh, kind of uh, easy to cut a hole for a pickup and that's what you have. You have a nice hole ready to go. You've now got your uh, neck opening, you've got your pickup opening, put the neck in, slot it for the pickup, and it's ready to go. You'll also uh, note that we have on here, we have, uh, like I said, the $5 and the $7.50. Uh, those are really nice pickups. A uh, lot, of, lot of people really, really liking these, working really well. They're not quite a surface mount, but they are pretty thin, pretty shallow. So usually on a box, if you just cut an opening through the box, you don't have to slot the neck because the lid of the box is thick enough and it will work. So again, if you want to, you can get our router template. Works really well. You need a router and a template bit. And if not, you can certainly cut them by hand using a chisel, a drill, putty knife, any kind of knife that you have, you can cut an opening. Uh, and get that opening for your pickup and then put the pickup in there. But that's our uh, new uh, template, marking template 24306. I hope this has been helpful. Let us know, send us comments, any questions, give us a call. Good to hear from you. Take care.